But to look your enemy in the eye, knowing you'll remember his face for the rest of your life, now that takes a stomach much stronger than you'll ever have. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a very quick tutorial for, you've guessed it, it's on the top left hand side of the screen there, Star Trek Armada 3. Uh, now I have been asked quite a few times on how to install Star Trek Armada 3, so I'm going to give you a quick run through on how to install the 1.0 version and its hotfix. Okay, right, so as you can see here, I have already downloaded the file. Uh, here it is in the Star Trek tutorial, Goldukat himself is taking a quick look at it, making sure it's safe. So let's double click on that. Here it is, STA3 v 1.0 install. So we're going to double click on that. And that'll probably be in your downloads folder, ladies and gentlemen. Let's click yes. Okay, here it is. Welcome to the Star Trek Armada 3 install program. Uh, this was put together by Mindwipe, um, and you did a great job with it. Um, Sadly, SDA3, uh, not SDA3, excuse me, Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion has updated since we actually made this in original installer. Uh, and what it updated was, uh, it went from 1.80 to 1.82. A small difference, you might think, but it has actually made a big difference to the install process. So what you do is you agree with the above terms and conditions, naturally. Now, as you can see here, the place it wants you to go to is... Do, do, do. See users, your username, documents, my games, Ironclad games, Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion, mods Rebellion 1.80. Now that's not where you want it to go now. With a current install, you now want it to go to 1.82. So you just change that. That's all you need to change, ladies and gentlemen. And then you click next and you click start. And your game will begin installing. Shouldn't take too long, ladies and gentlemen. So we're just going to wait this out. <clears throat> there we go. Already up to 32%. That's flying, ladies and gentlemen. I have a delicious cup of coffee with me. And I'm going to just have a couple of sips of that while it installs. Ah, delicious. Fantastic. Minute. All the way up to 39%. God, it's, it's flying. And what this installation also does is it change your, changes your enabled mods.txt uh, to reflect the fact that you now want to play Star Trek Armada 3. So you won't have to worry about that. Which is nice. We like that. Oh, and while we're at it. Uh, more things to talk about. Uh, thank you everybody who has liked and subscribed my videos so far. It's uh, pretty amazing how quickly uh, I've gained subscribers. I, I really didn't expect to. I thought I'd probably have about 10 subscribers by now, so thanks everybody. Uh, I did have a quick look last night, sent out a video, and I had... <laughs> you're gonna love this ladies and gentlemen, I had 1,337 subscribers. For, for a minute there, I was leet. And then somebody else subscribed and ruined it all. But there we are. <laughs> So thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, in addition to that, uh, we over on Nightshade's channel, um, the new dev diary should be coming out in the near future. Uh, we did have a couple of initial teething problems with that. It only uploaded in 480p. Not really sure why, but uh, but uh, Nightshade is in the process, or Bane, if you like, is in the process of sorting that out for you. So do keep your eye on his channel. Uh, do subscribe to him for further updates on Star Trek Armada 3. Um, this dev diary that is coming out is going to be on the Borg. Oh my god, the Berg. Fantastic. All the way up to 82% now. Oh, fantastic stuff, ladies and gentlemen. As always, one thing I am going to ask you all is, um, if you want to, uh, please do tell me the kind of games that you want me to play. Uh, it's important that I... Um, play what you want me to play. Uh, some of you are wanting me to play uh, uh, a new Galactic, not Galactic Conquest, excuse me, a, a new game of Sins of a Galactic Empire. So uh, what I'm going to do, ladies and gentlemen, is I, I'm probably going to pick that back up next week and maybe play as the Rebellion or the New Republic, if that's what you would like, and I'll play against the Empire for a change. Uh, not used to playing as the good guys, but we'll have a go. Uh, see how it goes. Um, 
and yeah that is going to be one of the new let's plays on the go and let me know if you like the current let's plays i'm doing uh i'm currently running one on uh, modded new vegas uh i'm looking to do kind of a, an atmospheric realistic version of new vegas uh, without the crazy guns like you know chainsaw firing dildos or whatever it is that they've got in there in some mods um and in addition to that, I'm doing a playthrough of the Walking Dead game, uh, which is the Telltale's version. It's a really, really cool, atmospheric, story-driven game. And that's, uh, if I am going to do Let's Plays of games, um, I do like RTSs a lot. And in addition to that, I really, really like story-driven plot lines. Um, I'm running the KOTOR uh, Let's Play, as you uh, may or may not have seen. Hopefully you're enjoying it, if you have seen it. Right, there we go. Star Trek Armada 3 has been successfully installed. We can exit that. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so where do you find your Star Trek Armada 3 install and make sure that it's gone correctly? Let's go into computer, into your C drive, users, your username, in my case it's Chris, or Golducat. Well, we'll stick with Golducat. Uh, my documents, we go through to my games, Ironclad games, Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion, and Mods Rebellion 1.82, which is the folder we changed it to from 1.80. So let's double click on that and make sure that it's there. There it is, Star Trek Armada 3. Fantastic stuff. It's a 1.85 gigabyte file. Uh, don't get confused with this one. Uh, this is just for my video, ladies and gentlemen. Please don't get confused with it. Uh, this is our developer build currently. So it is without the dashes. Don't worry about that. And let's check our enabled mods.txt. There you go. You can see that's automatically been changed to Star Trek Armada 3. Now, the hotfix, ladies and gentlemen, is what we're going to deal with next. And here it is in this file. The Golden Cat is still keeping a close eye on Let's double click on that. Uh, you can extract it with 7-zip or um, with WinZip. There we go. Uh, it also contains the large address aware XE. If you don't already use the large address XE, I really, really urge you to do so. The way that you do this is you just simply double click on that, say yes, and you find the executable, which for most people is in their C drive, but it, it does depend on, in your, on your drive. So you would go to whatever drive your Steam files are in. In my case, it's the D drive. Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then you find the game, the particular game that you want uh, in order to activate it. So in this case, it is going to be around here somewhere, Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion. Oh, oh, don't do that. Right. <laughs> I've made an error. Right, and what you want to do is you basically want to find your executable. These two are shortcuts, they don't matter. We've got the Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion Dev and Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion. Rebellion is your normal one. Dev is the, the developer suite, which allows you to uh, do extra things. Basically, you can use cheats, so you can check any new abilities that you put in. Right, so we go open on Sins of a Solar Empire to Rebellion, uh, and it will look like that for you with an unchecked box. All you need to do is check that box, make sure there's a tick in it, and save. That's all you've got to do with large address aware. Now, here's the Star Trek Armada 3 file. There it is, got game info, string, textures, and a window. Uh, there are a couple, uh, that's a hotfix, and I think, it, I can't remember, it's such a long time ago that we released the hotfix, but I, I think it had something to do with uh, various pieces of imagery, and it fixed a exploit that was usable on the, do do do, the scimitar. So, ladies and gentlemen, how do we install that? Well, the easiest way that you can do it is you can simply extract it to... God, look at all these mods I've had. Um, there we go. See? Users, Chris, Documents, My Games, not Chris, of course, your name. Uh, Ironclad Games, Sins of the Solar Empire Rebellion, Mods Rebellion 1.82, which is exactly where you installed Star Trek Armada 3 to. Uh, click OK, it will prompt you to overwrite the files that are already present. You just click Yes to All. And you're done, ladies and gentlemen. That is your install completed. Um, and now, all we've got to do is we've got to check that it works. So, let's open up. Do, 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 do. It's around here somewhere. In fact, you know what? I've got shortcuts. I've got shortcuts coming out my ass. <laughs> Not sure why I said that. Sins of the Solar Empire Rebellion shortcut. Double click. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. I do apologize about that. I forgot that the game wasn't in windowed mode, so I opened it up, and naturally you couldn't see a damn thing. So I've actually reset the game into windowed mode now, and we're gonna double click on that shortcut. Are you ready, ladies and gentlemen? 
There you go. You've got the set standby screen. A lot of people crash at this point. Um, Shortly because of that incorrect install path. But as you can see, the game is working perfectly well. Everything seems quite happy. In fact, we can go into full screen if you like, ladies and gentlemen. Now there it is. We have a wonderful Watch Out Battle Cruiser. And everything is working fine. Uh, I hope that answers the questions that you had about installing Star Trek Armada 3 um, and any other mods that are out there. In addition to that, uh, this is basically um, the extract path that you used. If we come back to this, uh, and we go to Armada 1.0 Hotfix. The way you extract anything is once you've downloaded a zip file, for this could be for any other mods, this could be Sins of the Galactic Empire, this could be Dawn of the Reapers, which I've uh, recently covered, it could be Sins of the Serious Sector, which is excellent, I do urge you to download. Uh, you simply go to Extract, and you want to take it to the path that we talked about earlier, which is C, Users, Your Name, Documents, My Games, Ironclad Games, Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion, version Mods version 1.82. That's where you want to uh, extract all these files to. And once you're done extracting those files, they're going to be sat in there. Like, for example, what have we got in here? We have... Here we go, 40,000 sins, uh, which I'm hoping to do a quick video on in a couple of days. And all we've got to do is we have to go... We can edit on enabled mods.txt. And what I like to do in this situation, ladies and gentlemen, is I like to click on rename for the file, control C. So I exactly copy what's that folder name. And then, oops, uh, you, everything that's inside these quotation marks, you overwrite that. And there you go, 40,000 sins is in there. And save it. That's it. Your mod is now actually enabled. Uh, if you have a, a particular mod that has two sub-mods within it, like for example here we have uh, Interregnum, uh, we've got Star Wars Interregnum Alpha 1, and we also have do, 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 the Enhanced 4X mod. I, I've got the developer build here because I was playing, uh, as some of you know recently, with Goafan. But what you need to do is you need to copy the second uh, line here, the enabled mod name uh, line. What I like to do is I copy it, I place it directly underneath, and uh, in the way that the README or the mod developer themselves tells you, you simply place these where you're told. Uh, I think in this case it was Interregnum Alpha on top. Oh, it's not the Alpha I actually want. Oh no, I've done it wrong. Uh, it was the <laughs> Interregnum Death. There we are. That's the one. And if you have two mods enabled at once, you need to change the enabled mod name count over to two. So let's save that and see if that works for us, ladies and gentlemen. Minimize that now. And back to our shortcuts. Where are our shortcuts? Here they are. Oops. Making so many mistakes this evening, it's just most embarrassing. And there we have Interregnum working, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that answers any questions that you have about actually installing mods, uh, including Star Trek Armada 3 and any other mods that are out there for Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion. If you... Oh, loud noises! There we are. Get rid of that. So, if you do need any further tutorials about installing mods for other games, do let me know that you need them if you're struggling. Hey, look. Concentrate all your fire on that Super Star Destroyer. Nice. Right, <laughs> get all excited about computer games again. That's not why I'm here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm, I am here to help you. So, yeah, if you do need any further tutorials about how to install mods, like say you are struggling with a Medieval 2 Total War mod, which I've been getting into some of recently, or you are struggling with a Fallout New Vegas mod, do let me know and I will see what I can do to help you out. Uh, I'm not going to know all the answers. I don't uh, play modifications for all of the games, but I will do my level best to help you out. Thank you very much for watching. If you uh, like this content, if you like the tutorials, please do like and subscribe. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. This is Gold Ducat, out.